we're going to make a spreadsheet for compounding interest. So we're going to put titles up at the top. And then we have, this is that not at the end of the year, because you put, it's the beginning of the year, so you put zero. And remember yesterday, we can avoid typing all the numbers by selecting two of the cells that are consecutive and just going, dragging that control. Now you have to hit that dot and, and drag that dot down this way. So we're going to start out with $100. And the interest is at 3%, but we want to calculate this interest based on what's in this column B. So what we can do is we can put a 0.03 out here, and we can make this an absolute reference cell. So we're always going to want to calculate an amount that's in this cell, which is F. You can see it's F4. Okay, so now let's start a formula. We're going to hit equal sign. We're going to click the $100, and that represents the principal amount. We're going to hit shift 8, which is the asterisk, which means multiply. And then we're going to go to this 0.03 cell. But we want to keep that 0.03 cell absolute. So we're going to hit command K. Now, when we did that, do you see that the F4 put two little dollar signs in it, that represents that no matter when we copy this formula down, it's always going to go to F4. So now we're going to click this amount here, and you can see it's three dollars. Let's put another formula in here. So equals this amount plus this amount, and we can hit the check mark. Okay, so now we want this cell B3 to be what was in D2. So we're going to put an equal sign there and just simply grab that cell and that's all we need in that one. Okay? Well we already have a formula built in here so we're just going to copy this formula down. We already have a formula built in this cell and we're just going to copy this formula down. And you always copy something by grabbing that dot and pulling it down. Now we don't have to keep doing this time after time and again. When you select all three of these cells, these are the formulas you already have set up. Grab this down arrow or the, the uh, copy formula dot and drag it down. Now we want all of this to be in dollars and cents so we'll capture all that area. And then remember we can do a simple formatting by clicking this and voila, we have all dollars in there. And then just by doing this this quick, you can see that the ending principle at the end of the year is $122.99.